every human actor needs to employ scarce resources. That means they need to possess or use them. They need to have access or control over them to survive. So if you imagine Robinson Crusoe alone on a desert island, um, he doesn't have any conflict with anyone else. So he just uses these things. He doesn't really own them because there's no one to own them with respect to. He possesses and uses them. So one way to avoid this conflict would be to live as a hermit or a, a hermit away from society. But then you don't get the benefits of living in society, which is the comfort and community communion with other people, you know, their company, um, uh, uh, intercourse with other people, trade, division of labor, all these things. So once you live in society with other people, you get benefits from that, which is trade and uh, the other benefits of living with people. But now the danger is that someone could steal or harm you or harm your things, um, and so. If we live in a society with no law and no morals and no rules, we live in a war of all against all, like where your life is precarious. It's at the whim of other people. But it so happens that humans have a social aspect, and they do, by and large, prefer peace, and they're also somewhat empathetic. Not everyone is 100% atomistically selfish and cares only about their own um, well-being. They care about other people too. We're an empathetic social species, and because of this, um, we tend to favor – most of us favor rules that promote peace and, and mutual prosperity. So this is why there, there tends to be a mutual society-wide recognition of these property rights, and it has to be recognized widely enough… Uh, to be of any use to you because you can use technical means to, to defend your property. You can just use locks and guns and self-help, but that's very inefficient. It'd be better if you can also appeal to norms. That is, you can appeal to the person trying to harm you. You can say, listen, this is wrong. Please don't do this, and that has some effect, or you can appeal to your neighbors or the legal system. You can say, listen, everyone else help me out. There's one guy that's an outlaw, and these people tend to be shunned and punished because every you know, 90% of society or more agrees with these civilized rules, and because they do, you can appeal to these norms for assistance. And this is how society has developed. This is why we have society, and we have the immense progress and prosperity that we have now is because we have had some degree of this uh, among most people over the centuries.